Hansfeld. They had their player Villa Campo guarding on Pasquale to start the ball game, but he wasn't able to handle him, and he picked up two personal fouls. They took him out, and now they've got number 10, Jose Antonio Montero, trying to stop him. He has been unstoppable today. As you see right here, drives to the basket. He got fouled right there, so he forces the ball up. If it goes in, that's great. He gets two plus one, but if it doesn't, he gets two free throws. First miss today at the free throw line. I think that's his first miss from anywhere today. Just about. Makes that one, so it's again an eight-point lead for Canada over Spain, and Canada pressing for the ball now. Zone trap. Try to trap him right here in this corner. Ignacio sells the ball for Spain. He leads their attack, six foot one. Plays with Barcelona in the first division. Sells the ball driving. Dished it off to Martinez. The fight for it underneath. And the foul is called again. So with Canada enjoying an eight-point lead over Spain and eight minutes to go in the first half, we'll be back. Okay. All right. Thank you, Howie. Good drive. Tillman? Tillman. Good drive. Salaza ball is what you call him? Salaza ball, yeah. Ten. Take the shot. Good job. Good job. Get the big kid. That's about as aggressive as I've seen Munger be. Raffin's in. Kazanowski's out. See, Yearwood probably won't come back the second, the first half. Two, two quick fouls. Who's in for Yearwood? Raffin. Where is Raffin? Stand over there talking to the coach on the side. Good. What's is this? Uh, Munger's two and one from the line. No, he had two shots. He made one, missed one. So he's got two free throws and a two-pointer so far. He missed one. And how many field goals? One. Yeah. 20 years old. Number seven, Mark yeah. Raffin. Pushing. Start shooting bonus. Eighth foul. One and one. In the bonus situation now? Spain is. guards in the game. This is unusual. Or is it? Yeah. Triano. Chris Manson. C guard. Uh, not really. He plays like a guard. Mm -hmm. They got Tillman. Oh, they took Pasquale out, didn't it? I just don't, wasn't expecting to see him out of the game. Got no fouls. Just resting him, is he? Yeah. He's gone 12 minutes. That's about time to rest a minute or so. Catch your breath. Ten point lead. Nine now. Good time to rest them. Dispensing. Trap, trap, trap. Shoot 
can have it, Tillman. Where are you? That's what they like to do. Berkov to Berkov. Jose Berkov. I don't know, Spain must be supremely confident. They sat down their two big guys, Villa Campa and Epifanio, well, early in the game, and they're trailing by... Villa Campa's got two fouls early. That's why they took him out real yeah, early. Yeah, but still, trailing by nine. Because Pasquale drove him nuts. Well, I think you're better off to have him longer, you know, because Pasquale hasn't hurt, hurt him since. Yeah. But when he was guarding him, he did. That's who was guarding him when he was hitting. Guess he can't stop him. Pasquale's back, Triano's out. That they have, Don, leading by 13 now with 6 minutes and 20 seconds to go in the first half, and the story of the game continues to be Eli Pasquale. He's been red hot for Canada. From three-point territory, that was Margal for Spain. And it finally goes. They couldn't handle the big man underneath. Martinez, he's 20 years old, but he's six foot ten. He got three shots at the basket. You give him three shots, he's gonna make it. Pasquale leads the attack for Canada now. Intended for Carl Tillman. They turn the ball over to Spain. Tillman came in for Triano. He's hit two straight shots since he's come in. One drive down the middle and one the jumper that he likes to shoot from just around the key area. Get him hot like the other day when he had seven three-pointers. It'd really help, wouldn't it? Yeah, he shot the lights out against Egypt. There's a three-pointer for Spain. Well, you're going to give those. Canada's defense has been sagging back inside again. Force them to shoot outside because they've got to get the boards. And you can't be everywhere. Eight-point ball game now. 38-30 for Canada over Spain. Underneath from Munger. Yes, it's good. So... Canada reopens a 10-point lead against the Spaniards. That was a nice pass by Chris Manson. The guy covering Munger fronted him. That means the behind him is open. He just lobbed it over his head, led him to the basket, and Munger got right up and laid it in. Canada rebounds on a missed shot by the big man for the Spaniards, Martinez. Shot from Tillman. Spaniards get it back, sells the ball. The number seven, Margo on the fast break. That's what they do best. When that ball goes to the basket, when Canada takes a shot, the, one of Spain's guards, the outside people, is going to take off down floor, and they're going to try to throw it to him and get the easy two on him. Well, it was 13, and now Spain is close to within eight points of Canada. Canada cannot let Spain dict uh, afford to let Spain dictate the pace of this game. No, you don't want to let him run. Tillman. From three points, Carl Tillman. Nice shot, long three-pointer. Well, we said he was red hot against the Egyptians with three pointers and Eli Pasquale red hot here. He's got three of them, 15 points in all in this game. He's been the story for Canada in the first half. Drove the Spaniards' best player, Villacampa, out of the game. He drove him crazy. And Villacampa's been sitting down since. Arcega for Spain underneath. He's six foot eight. He comes in averaging 11 points a game anyway. They went to the zone defense to try to get position, but Arcega got the inside. They had the wide open shot because in a zone, you're going to find a guy wide open. He'll have the opportunity to shoot. Chris Manson in the game for Canada. Forced the shot, and the foul's called. Called him on offensive foul for jumping in to the defender. So Canada leads Spain 43-34 with three minutes and 40 seconds to go in the first half. Jimenez. 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 
pushing, going to shoot it. There it is. Jumped right on his back. Oh, hit him in the head. Pasquale still got 15. One, three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I got him for. Laughing. Was his last shot a free throw? Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah, I missed that. Okay. Get it, get it, get it, get it. That's it. Shoot it. Got to hit it though. Air ball. Boy, they get down the floor in a hurry, don't they? Yeah, they do. They love to run. Jesus. I can see what the coaches are saying. He says, if you don't get back, they'll run you right out of the... If they open the door, they'll run you right downtown. Villa Camp and Ep Epifanio being saved for the first or second half, well, obviously. Villa Camp is in. I know he isn't either. I thought I saw him come in. And Jimenez came in. But they're their two best players, right? Villa Camp and Epifanio. Uh, can't really say that. They're supposed to be another three-pointer for Tillman. That's good. They, they're pretty balanced. If you look at their scoring averages. How many three-pointers Tillman got? Two. Two threes and two twos. You get ten points. Shot seven. Good. Three points for Margol. See, they, their scoring is very balanced if you look at it. They had four players averaging in over 10, double figures. That's good. Ah, dog, what are we doing here? He's shooting that from downtown. <laughs> here comes the stuff. Sells the ball, lays it up Sells for Spain, and the Spaniards have moved back to within nine points of Canada. Who's called the timeout, Donahue? Yes. The lead was 13 points at one point in this half, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was Canada's timeout, and they just put it up. Each had one left. Ba -da 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 -da. Well, that is, uh, Spain has called it, haven't they? Well, I just, uh, okay. I just looked at the light that went on up above Canada's name up on the scoreboard. Yeah, but the, what's the white light on beside uh, Spain? Uh, maybe they called yeah. this one. I don't know. But the light, there was no light above the 48 on Canada. It just went on, so I assume that... They each have one left anyway. Salazar. How can ball, you tell? Six. Well, the, you see the 41 and 48? Yeah. See the two little green lights, one right above 48, one above 41? There was no light above Canada. So I'd assume they hadn't called one. Now they've called one. I now guess. he's obviously concerned about the fast break here. Yeah, Tillman. Damn. He's concerned about the fast break and he's concerned about that real long shot <coughs> that Tillman's shooting from well outside the three point. That's the kind when a coach jumps off the off the bench to holler and it goes in and you say, nice shot. But yeah, you, right. you don't shoot you from go, that far <laughs> out. He says, shoot it, shoot it, don't shoot it, don't shoot a right. good shot. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, you get too far out. Now that's good range. Got blocked though. He's forcing it. He's going hunting now instead of waiting for it to come to him. Shows the ball to Burkov. Jimenez. Martin, Martin for two. Down to seven, down to five. Pasquale to Yearwood. Yearwood got hit in the stomach with an elbow. Hatch drives too high on the boards. Jimenez, Salazable. Watch out. Martin, ah, yeah, yes, underneath for the big man. I tell you right, I tell you right now, he ain't happy now. Down to three. In under a minute. 50, 45 seconds. Okay. Got to hit it, Eli. Good shot for three. Pasquale? Yeah. Thirty seconds. Twenty-five seconds. Last minute, it goes into tenths. <laughs> 